everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art and I'm getting ready to do a shop update and we are at the little house in the new art studio. So the windows are open, it's very warm out today and you're going to hear a lot of outside background noise and I apologize for that. We have some kids in the neighborhood and my husband is working around the house so if you hear anything, ignore it. Anyway, I uh, today's shop uh, update is going to be uh, where I'm going to show you my bottle cap wind chimes and they are hanging back there. <laughs> they are very hard to photograph and very very hard to uh, video so please bear with me but let me tell you a little bit about them before um, I start to show you each and every one of them. They are um, all recycled found objects, um, kitchen utensils, they could be parts of lamps, uh, all kinds of jewelry findings, all kinds of stuff mixed together and I have really enjoyed making these over the years. We do uh, art shows typically and that's where uh, I usually sell them. They're really so much more beautiful in person you can't imagine. But this year we decided not to do an art show so I thought I would put them in the shop. I have been selling them online privately and um, I hope you like them. So you can use them outside or you can use them inside. I have had them hanging in my house. I just love the way they look and they make me smile so I have them in the house. If you hang them outside they will get rusty. They are metal. If you don't want them to get rusty really fast you can spray them with like a matte Krylon. However, they are still going to get rusty. So if you do not like that old rusty kind of thing, these might not be for you. And I think that's about it. So let's get started. I can't wait to show you my chimes. You are going to be hearing a little bit of a basketball bouncing in the background. My window is open and my neighbor's son likes to play basketball. So ignore that if it bothers you. I love hearing the sound of kids playing. So anyway, we're in my new art studio and today's video is going to be a shop update and I'm going to be featuring my bottle cap wind chimes. It is spring here in Pennsylvania and that makes me think of a garden and garden art and all sorts of things. I also keep these chimes in my house, believe it or not. And last year I had probably a dozen of them in my living room and I hung them off the curtain rods. <laughs> so they are happy outside or inside. But um, I have a ruler here in my hand and I'm going to tap this so that you can hear all right, the sound of the bottle caps, and it's kind of a nice clinky clunky sound. Um, I like it. So this particular one is made uh, using a vintage can, and this is a um, part of a light, an old light, a vintage light, and the bottle caps are connected with some um, recycled uh, jewelry supplies. And I generally make my jump rings, and they could be made out of copper or brass. And at the very bottom of the wind chime uh, are some cute little charms. So I am going to turn the camera off and on and get another one and show you um, each and every one of them. Now I don't know if I said the dimensions on this, if I, I did um, say it already, forgive me. This one is 25 inches long by about four inches wide and that is from this little round hook thing there to the very bottom. All right, I will be back. All right, we are back and this one is going to just keep spinning. So here we are with the second bottle cap wind chime and this is um, a vintage aluminum um, candy dish. And these are some really interesting pieces that I picked up at a flea market. And I don't even know what they are, but I thought they were cool as all get out. And then there's some vintage chain in there as well. So, uh, and then I always put um, this tag here uh, is a stamping. Um, and I use the name, I go by Bellini Made when I um, am selling things at an art show, and so that's got a, a stamp. So it's kind of like a signature. All right. So the wind is coming in. I have the window open and it's blowing this a little bit back and forth. So you can see these, this is more aluminum. And this one uh, is connected 
by a, piece, a couple of pieces of chain, some vintage uh, jewelry chain, and then there's some uh, different um, jewelry supplies, findings. And these are like little, um, gosh, I don't know what you call them, like little keychain clips. And so let me measure this one. So here I'm going to step into the camera for a second because I forgot to measure it. So from the bot very bottom to this hook, it's about 29 inches. And then this one is about 9 inches, 8 or 9 inches wide. And they, again, they sound really, really nice when the wind hits them. So I'll go get the next one. All right, here we are with number three. So this one is an enamel... Um, vintage enamel I don't know what it is <laughs> but I thought it was really cool and would make a really interesting chime and so here you go there's that lovely um, bottle cap sound and I will stick my arm over here and hold on to it so you can get a good look at it and this one is about 23 inches long oh well I didn't I didn't count because usually I count up until this thing so let's see it's 27 27 by I'm gonna say about six 27 by six all right this one uh, has a glass knob this is a glass knob on there and that's part of that enamel piece and then the bottle caps are connected by again jewelry findings and some of them are little clasps and some of them are pieces of chain okay and if you look in my Etsy store I'll take a picture of it too so you can get a better look all right so this next wind chime is 21 inches long by 3 inches wide and um, this is a really cute one. It's got a vintage, um, I think it's like a jello mold on there. Uh, it's aluminum with a glass knob on top of that. And then there's a little brass um, thing on top of that. And the um, bottle cap, the bottle caps are connected by, of course, some jewelry findings. But also, this one has a lot of chain on it, some vintage chain. And you can see the vintage chain and at the end of each piece of chain there's a charm and there's also charms on the bottom and um, the findings that are connected here have a little brass bead in between it's like wire wrapped with a little brass bead and this one's really cute all right this one is 29 inches long by about four inches wide and you can see it's a planters uh, peanut can it's an old one and on top of that is a fuse, an old glass fuse, and this is some really pretty, un very unusual aluminum chain, I guess you might say. And uh, it has some lamport glass beads on the bottom, and this one is connected with jewelry findings as well, and they are those little um, uh, keychain type things. Now the inside of this, I'm going to move the ruler, see the inside of this has another chain and it's just a piece of copper or, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's vertigrade copper with a key hanging on in the middle of that. Okay, and they would sound great. Alright, here's the next one. Uh, it is 24 inches long by 5 inches, sorry about that, by 5 inches wide, and it is one of my favorite things. It's a heart. And I have some vintage chain hanging up at the top with some uh, really pretty old brass charms. And then the connectors for the bottle caps are jewelry um, findings, and those are, i got to keep that ruler there, because <laughs> it keeps wanting a twist. Um, those are uh, those uh, uh, keychain uh, clips. I think that's what you call them. I'm not sure. This one does have some charms down at the bottom, and this is an aluminum heart, and it is actually like a puffed heart. Okay. 
and it doesn't have uh, as many strands as the others, but it really is adorable. All right, so if you're interested in any of my uh, bottle cap wind chimes, they will go up for sale in my Etsy shop at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. That would be tomorrow. All right, so now uh, I hung them all up um, on my cabinet and it is very difficult to take a good photograph of these or even to film them. So I hope you can see them. I thought I'd come over and while they're stationary, I would just give you a, an overall view. Um, let's just focus on the tops. And there's the heart. And there they are. Let me stand back. There they are. They're adorable. Um, I have more, but I'm just going to stop and, um, and put these in the shop for now. All right, I'll be back with uh, something else uh, in the next shop updates. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day full of love and recycled art.